the holiday season is upon us, that means toy shopping galore. But, and this is a big but, did you know that in 2016, some 240,000 children in the US went to the ER for a toy-related injury? That's a lot. Our producer, Leslie Marcus, investigated what dangers are lurking in kids' toys, and in some of them, could they be toxic? Where we are right now is the largest seaport in the nation, the Los Angeles Long Beach Seaport. More than 40% of our nation's imports come right here. So you can imagine the monumental task on Customs and Border Protection's hands to inspect these products before they get on the market. Over the last four years, CPSC has stopped over 8 million units of hazardous children's products. These vehicles here on the end have all been collected for lead. This doll we collected for phthalates. This toy gun, the dart tip here, is easily removable, which causes a choking hazard. This place is massive, and you're telling me it's one of the biggest in the nation where products are being tested before they go on store shelves. CPSC regulates um, all consumer products that you have in your house, and children's products have the strictest requirements. So this is merchandise that has arrived. This looks like it's a toy for a child under the age of three. That's correct, this is a push toy. The problem with this is that this chicken comes with eggs. Egg is a choking hazard because it fits within our testing cylinder. And this testing cylinder is the size of a child's airway. Tell me what this tool does exactly. So this is an XRF, and it shoots x-rays into the, the plastic. Okay. And based on the reading, it can tell us what elements are inside of that. Lead is the main one that we're looking for. So we're activating the machine now. So this toy is, um, since it's made of plastic, it's only allowed to have 100 parts per million. And this has 2,972. So this product we would send to the lab for confirmation. Wow. I'm here at Act Lab with one of the directors, Michael Baker. So we brought you a number of toys that we purchased from dollar stores online. We purchased in downtown Los Angeles in the wholesale toy district and you're going to put them through a number of tests and we're going to see if in fact they'll pass these standards that CPSC has in place for safety. Okay, this is a sharp edge tester. The very end of this rod that's sticking out of this instrument, will it actually rotates. And there's some tape that's on the end of that and that simulates human skin. And when the sharp edge rubs up against that instrument with a certain amount of force, as it spins, if it cuts through the tape, it actually fails the test. The edge is too sharp and would actually penetrate through somebody's skin. Oh, so it just cut that tape right in half. Right. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Great, right now we're doing an impact test with a few of these toys. We just dropped this toy and a piece broke off of it. Now we're concerned about any exposed sharp edges or other protrusions that would normally be there in the toy okay. before it broke. Thank you, Michael, for having us at Act Lab. This was very eye-opening. And for parents out there, a lot of things to watch out for this holiday season.